afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. <clears throat> First, we give praise, honor, and glory to the Father and Son. Yahweh is the Father, our Father, the Father of Jesus Christ, Yeshua Mashiach. And now I'm going to post the word spoken by the Son, by the Lord Jesus, because this will be the outpouring of new gifts that is in the divine plan. So, if you take heed of the words of the Father that I have just uh, posted, this is in relation to that. That's why this will give you encouragement to leave the church and then just study the Word of God and then when the time comes for the outpouring of these new gifts, then you will receive it for sure. So, I'm sharing this to you. This was just fed today. Here it is now. Our coming. Jesus says, the title Jesus says, Healing Tools in the Hands of Love, New Gifts Coming. So, this was spoken in her channel, Still a Small Voice, by Heart Dwellers, Sister Claire. Words from Jesus to Sister Claire, spoken by Jack. Soon after I had to go back to bed again, 
cancelled his rent on several times. But this is what he had to say. Jesus began, Your heart is just a little crushed. Bringing up things of the past opened some deep wounds. I am healing. When you were laying down, I called you because I don't want you feeling that you are alone. You are not alone. Not at all. I have not abandoned you. Your emotions have gotten the upper hand and you are also under attack. Weather this storm, my bride. Weather it. And it will soon be over and you'll be better for it. Okay. Now, I just want to hold you and tell you that you are doing an excellent job. I love you, and it won't be long now. Been pre- 
preparing this group in a very special way for the last 15 months. As I have witnessed their responses to my needs and their faithfulness during persecution and above all else, their continuing commitment to love from the heart, despite the unbelief, persecution and bitterness of those around them. This means more to me than I can ever say. That is why I can increase the anointing. My people, before you can carry the most favored and choice anointing, your vessel, your soul must be clean of ulterior motives. Your love for others must surpass your gifts and your knowledge of scripture. All these things are only tools in the hands of love. To have these tools without love, as you have witnessed in your own lives, is damaging to souls. Because rather than meeting their deepest needs, you become embroiled in being right and having it all together, sealed up tight and down pat. So the only way for a soul to react is submission. This is not my idea of ministry. My idea of ministry is meeting the soul where their need is tenderly being there present to them in their need, meeting them where it hurts the most, with no other agenda than to love them as I have loved you. Because the church has gotten caught up in showmanship and prowess and oh my, what an anointing. They have lost sight that I was tender in my earthly ministry, with all of the most wretched and needy. I did not seek to minister to the well groomed in order to impress others. I reached out for the truly broken. I showed to you the example of meekness with the little folk and withstood the hypocrisy of the ruling class. Yes, my heart was for the poor of the land and regrettably had to turn away those who had been chosen to be my ambassadors. You will come to see more and more that those who are willing to look foolish for me can be trusted with the greater gifts. They have cultivated a dependence on me and a careless disregard for what people say about them. This freedom of heart is absolutely essential to those of you who wish to walk in my power and anointing. Can you look at those who show scorn and contempt for you and still love them? Can you stay detached enough to speak gently about their sins, to bring about a reformation of their lives and conviction? Can you do these things without rancor? but with a heart of love and concern for the state of their souls. You see, there is no room for rancor or retaliation in this ministry. There is no room for slander, gossip or rash judgment. As you judge, so shall you be judged, until you become so sick of yourselves that you would rather go without ministry than be drawn into an unjust consensus or judgment of the motives of others. Yes, you would rather withdraw and remain silent than chime in with an opinion that offends my spirit. Do you understand? This calls for an uncommon detachment of soul as you can see, I have been raising you up in this, on this channel. I have allowed ample opportunity for you to confront evildoers, and yet you have responded in charity and concern for their souls. There is no Bye. greater love.